The Pinebook Pro was announced in January of 2019. At the end of July of 2019, there were 100 pre-orders taken for the first batch. I was fortunate enough to be one of those people to get one of the first 100 Pinebook Pros. Today, we're gonna to unbox that Pinebook Pro. While these units were expected to be delivered by the middle of September, I didn't get mine until today, October 31st, Halloween in the United States, which ironically was only 36 hours after it shipped from Hong Kong. Now this is the only package that came in, no other box. Simple envelope with an envelope. Fairly well padded, not very heavy. It's kind of hard to believe that there's an entire laptop in here, plus my NVMe adapter and the power adapter. So a double cardboard box. Again, well padded, came very quickly. Here it is, the Pinebook Pro I've been waiting so patiently for since it was announced in January of 2019. It has a very solid weight. As you can see, it's quite thin. No ports in the back. Everything pretty well concealed. I'll give you a little bit more light to hopefully make it better for you. Opening up the unit, fairly thin bezel around it, very nice magnesium case. One of the things that attracted me to the Pine Book Pro was one, because I've been a Pine 64 enthusiast since the original Pine 64 came out. I have one running today, open hab. Sure, this unit was delayed, um, but we were kept updated through the forums. And I was one of the first 100 to receive it, and I really looked forward to doing this unboxing video, my first ever, and being one of the people who can show you this unicorn. Uh, first, I want to thank Pine64 for offering this laptop for only $199. Yes, there is shipping uh, added to it, but that shipping, as, you, as I told you, got here in only 36 hours from Hong Kong. Next, I want to thank the host of Mini PC Podcast Podnuts. That's Door to Door Geek and Flying Rich. They gave me, some, gave me some advice to keep it real, and I'm trying to give it a shot. So what attracted me to this unit was, one, I've been a fan of Pine since the Pine 64, two, the uh, 1080 IPS panel, the aluminum magnesium, sorry, the magnesium alloy shell, and a 10,000 milliamp LiPo battery. But what I didn't expect is you take a look at this power adapter. Now, this is not some huge brick like you have on other laptops. This one came ready for the US. Simply slide the adapter in. Quite light, quite small adapter. As I said, I ordered the NVMe adapter. I have the NVMe drive ready to go in. Again, taking a look at the laptop. This one came with the upgraded 128 gig drive. You see the ports there. And there as well. Again. Quite a solid feel, nice hinges, big, big soft rubber feet on the bottom. You can see where the speakers are, so you can probably provide a very good sound. I will be doing more videos once I actually turn them on. But let's compare this unit to something else. So this Pinebook Pro was $199. My corporate laptop, which is only four days old, is probably at least $1250. Now this is an HP. This is one of the... Um, 830G5s, and it's at least a $1,200 laptop. Let's look at them side by side. The HP unit, sure, very nice. It's the Elite Book. But again, I could purchase six of these Pinebook Pros for the same price. And another comparison. What is the laptop the Pinebook Pro is replacing? Well, here is my trusty Chromebook. Now, this was only $119 as a second unit, but Still quite nice and worked very well. However, you look at the size of the screen, you look at the resolution, quite different. So I look forward to 
charging up this Pinebook Pro, taking it for a spin, putting a few different operating systems on it, letting you all know how the battery performs, talking a little bit more about, how, oh, that keyboard does feel good, how the keyboard feels, and expressing some of my opinions on some of the other features on it. For now, I hope you found this informative, and thank you so much, Pine, 64, Pine for the Pine 64, the Pinebook Pro, and also thank you, uh, Door-to-Door -door Geek and Flying Rich for the mini PC podcast on Pod Nuts.